It's chucking with rain outside. It's a perfect day. Look at that thunder as well. It's a perfect day for a warm salad. This is one of the best warm salads that, that you will eat. It's got all the good stuff in it. You ready? We're gonna start this story with speck. Speck is like luxury bacon. You want really nice, thick chunks of speck. I've also got in the oven some old bread that I'm turning into croutons. Cutting the speck into really big, chunky boy lardons and straight into a pan. So, full heat for this. Pump the heat up. Speck is already cooked for the best part. So all you wanna do is caramelize the outside of it as quickly as you can. Render some of that fat out. And that fat is gonna act as the base of our dressing. Croutons, sherry vinegar, salt, white pepper, and some grapeseed oil. Mix it around in a bowl, some old stale bread. Whack it in the oven, 180 degrees, 10 minutes and you've got yourself delicious croutons. Go good. Catherine de Medici came 1500s from Florence in Italy, discovering loads of ingredients in France, and apparently she was responsible for the making of the first Lyonnaise salad uh, in Lyon in France. And it's kind of become this sort of amazing French typical salad that you'd find in a French bistro everywhere. I've got a couple of poached eggs that I did earlier. We'll stick a link down below of how to make a perfect poached egg. The other identifier of a Lainez salad is of course the lettuce. This is called frizzy. It is bitter on the outside where it's green and in the heart, right down at the very bottom, it's very yellow and sweet. Just break it down into manageable size pieces. That's looking beautiful. The speck, look at how much fat is rendering out of that. That's what you need, you need that. As I say, we're gonna use that as the vehicle for the dressing. If you're gonna get me eating a salad, you wanna put some pork in it, proper, proper. We haven't taken it much more than sort of a light golden caramelization. We're just removing it from the fat. We're gonna add our shallots straight into the pan and start to cook them down. It's a quick cook with the shallots. So you'll see within a minute, this is gonna go translucent and beautiful. At which point we're gonna add the secret French weapon, which is smooth Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard, when you add heat to it, turns into something magically umami. In a Lyonnaise salad, it reeks of Dijon. There's so much of it in there. So just think about this now as if you were making a dressing for a salad. This is the stage we're at, right? So I'm gonna turn my heat all the way down now. I'm gonna add my mustard. And we're gonna whisk in the mustard into that pork fat. And you'll see it sort of starts to look like a bit of a split mess, right? Don't worry, we're gonna hit it with sherry vinegar. So I'm gonna stick a good glug of that in there. And then we're gonna bring this back up to a boil. What's gonna happen is, is that this is gonna emulsify and become one. It's become a creamy dressing all by itself. Minimal effort from you. Beautiful. There's a little bit of saltiness from the pork, but really not enough. So we're gonna add a good pinch of salt in there. White pepper, double check seasoning. So good. All right, quick mixy mix. Our pork has only just come off the stove, so it's nice and warm. It goes in. We've got some beautiful warm croutons. I'm just gonna add a small handful at first. I'm gonna add some more after. Then we go in with our warm dressing. Keep some to the side. And then just fold it through. All the flavors start to get to know each other. The lettuce starts to absorb that dressing. Oh yeah, so good, so tasty, so delicious. Get myself a nice, posh, oldie world looking plate. And I'm gonna build up my salad. Take care, make sure you get a little bit of everything. I look at this and I think the speck looks beautiful, actually. That's the bit that I look at it and go, that's stunning. Is that weird? Is that bad? No, yes, I don't know. Put your egg on top. I'm gonna to double because I'm greedy. I get a little bit of the leftover dressing and just nappy it over your egg. That is my Lainez salad, 
perfect for a rainy day like today. And I tell you what, when you've had it once, you want to keep making, oh no, look at that. It didn't burst, but it did roll off. And that is the comical nature of cooking. Like it never happened. There it is, it's my Lainey's salad. It's delicious. Warm salad, rainy day. Get after it. Thanks for watching. And if you liked that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.